Hi friends, in this video let us understand the steps in recombinant DNA technology with a simple animation within 3 to 5 minutes. The key term is recombined DNA. Let's begin with the definition. Recombinant DNA technology is a method of combining DNA from different sources to create a recombined DNA either to make copies of that gene or to produce product encoded by that gene. Classical examples include the production of insulin, vaccines, etc. using recombinant DNA technology by inserting human genes inside bacteria. Just to remind you, for a detailed explanation on this topic, you can watch our video on steps in recombinant DNA technology. The link is in the description. Step 1. Identification and isolation of gene of interest to be cloned. First, we need to find out the gene of interest. Suppose this is the gene of interest, gene X, isolated from humans. Often the gene source is a genomic library or a cDNA library where these genes are cloned in microorganisms as colonies. Step 2 is insertion of this isolated gene into a suitable vector. In this example, let's take plasmid as a vector. Plasmids are extra-chromosomal, double-stranded, circular DNA that is present in bacteria that is widely used as a gene cloning vector. So we need to insert this gene X into this vector. First, we make a cut using restriction enzyme, often called as molecular scissors. Then the next step is we will be inserting our gene X into this plasmid, forming a recombinant DNA molecule. The nick is sealed by an enzyme called ligase. Ligase is often called as molecular glue as it is a joining enzyme. Now we have recombinant DNA molecule or recombined DNA where this red region is a plasmid DNA that is from bacteria and this green region is a human X gene. This is combined to form the recombinant DNA molecule. Step 3 is introduction of this recombinant vector into a suitable organism like bacterium. So we have transformed this recombinant vector into a bacterium by different methods like electroporation, microinjection, etc. Step 4 is the selection of transformed host cell. In a transformation experiment, majority of the bacterial cells will be non-transformed. So we need to select this transformed host cell. So we have given a detailed video on that topic. You can refer that for more. And step 5 is multiplication or expression of that introduced gene in the host. Our first intention is to make copies of that gene. This plasmid can replicate inside the host and can make copies. This is called cloning or making copies. Gene cloning is still the method of choice in the case of unknown DNA fragments or genes for understanding the sequence and structure of that gene. Then the second intention is to produce the product encoded by that gene. That is, this gene is transcribed and translated to form the protein inside bacterium. Bacteria acts just like a biofactory producing the product. And that is how we made this humulin or recombinant insulin. This insulin A chain and B chain is synthesized in this manner and that is combined and that is purified to form this recombinant insulin or humulin. Let me conclude with the definition once more. Recombinant DNA technology is a method of combining DNA from different sources to create a new genetic sequence or a recombined DNA either to make copies of that gene or to produce product encoded by that gene. Hope you are clear. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing our channel. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.